Welcome to Cognis Group Future in Focus Reports. My name is Jess Gerritsen and I'm CEO at Cognis. Today's report is brought to you by Bill's blog at TechCast. Please follow Bill at BillHalal.com. Today's report is on the survey results around the coming internet. Say yes to security, decentralization, and immersion. Here's a quick summary of what we've learned. Security may arrive around 2027. We found a sharp division of opinion, with roughly half of all experts thinking there is little or no chance that the internet would become secure. And the other half thinks there's about a 60% probability that blockchain and quantum cryptography will solve the problem at about 2027. After noting the success of Gilder's previous forecasts, we tend to accept those who agree with Gilder. Decentralization is likely between 2028 and 2030. The critical technologies are thought to focus on blockchain, but quantum, AI, biometrics, and the Internet of Things also offer localizing capabilities. Immersion is highly likely about 2031 to 2032. There's a variety of technologies to make this possible. Blockchain, VR, AR gaming, AI, Internet of Things, and useful brain-computer interface. Despite pockets of doubt and uncertainty, we think this study tells a compelling story about the evolution of the Internet. The continued advance of computer power, possibly using quantum, nanotech, and photonic technologies, is likely to make complex blockchain platforms feasible over the next coming decades. Along with applications of quantum crypto and AI, a new generation of web systems is likely to greatly improve security and move control from tech companies to individuals. Some confusion and security failures will remain, of course, but glitches will be acceptable by a younger cohort of users. The development of richer internet experiences using VR, AR, and XR, biometrics, AI, and the Internet of Things, and holograms is very likely to bloom into the metaverse long anticipated. Obviously, there are many trends that will also play important roles in the new internet, as noted in our experts' comments. The strategic implication should be formidable. The status and control of the large tech companies is likely to shift to users, and then internet service providers like Verizon, Comcast, etc. will face competition from satellite systems flooding the air with cheap and abundant access. Apple and Elon Musk are launching satellites even now and expect to envelop the Earth with high-capacity broadband in a year or two. In addition to fierce competition from these new sources, the entire supply chain of ICT equipment and services will be disrupted by an advanced generation of suppliers. Users should gain more sophisticated and immersive capabilities that are needed for the high-tech society ahead. Here is some more detailed information on the three trends. Security. A bimodal distribution shows sharply divided expectations. The most striking feature of our data shows dramatically different views on the prospects for improving security. One group of eight responses averages less than 20% probability that this will happen. Another group of nine responses averages that more than an 80% probability. A similar bimodal distribution shows 10 people with an average most likely year of about 2027, while another group of eight averages much later than 2040. The good news is that both groups seem to agree that blockchain and quantum cryptography are the likely technologies to make this happen with the help of AI. With such a starkly divided opinion, additional insight seems needed to reconcile this impasse. Both cannot be correct. Yes, George Gilder's claim is hard to accept, but he has been proven correct on similar forecasts. That is why The Economist called him America's foremost technology prophet. Here's George's forecast on the smartphone almost 20 years ago before Steve Jobs made it a reality in 2010. In 1994, my book Life After Television predicted the creation of the smartphone, saying the most common personal computer of the next decade will be a digital cellular phone with an IP address, connecting to thousands of databases of all kinds. It will be as portable as your watch and as personal as your wallet. It will recognize speech and navigate streets. It will collect your mail your news, and your paycheck. Now here's how Gilder sums up his forecast in Life After Google. Some thousands of companies who've never heard of are investing billions in that effort to fix the lack of security on the internet. Collectively, they will give birth to a new network whose most powerful architecture imperative will be the security of transactions. So fundamental will security be in this new system that its very name will be derived from it. It will be the cryptocosm. Mark Andreessen, the billionaire who invented the first web browser, endorsed Gilder when he wrote in the Washington Post, This is the big breakthrough. This is the thing we've been waiting for. Gilder should get the Nobel Prize. Hundreds and thousands of applications and companies could get built on top of this. Looking over the evidence, we are more impressed by Gilder and his credible supporters. Our best forecast is that blockchain and quantum cryptography, along with a dash of AI, are likely to introduce a secure form of internet about 2027.
It may also require tougher laws, and it may not be perfect. Serious doubts are normal, of course, but we think that the doubts may be what Arthur C. Clarke attributed to failures of the imagination and will. The second topic is decentralization. The possibility of decentralizing the web into a bottom-up system that is no longer dominated by the big tech giant seems more plausible to our respondents. There remains a wide distribution of estimates, but not a bipolar distribution. Although many think there is zero probability this will happen, other responses form fairly normal distribution averaging about 60%. Timing is also less divided, suggesting that these changes are likely to arrive between 2028 and 2030. The responsible technologies are thought to focus on blockchain, but quantum AI, biometrics, and IoT are thought to offer localizing capabilities. The need to decentralize control is gaining some traction. Definity is building what it calls the internet computer, a decentralized technology spread across a network of independent data centers that allows software to run anywhere on the internet rather than in server farmers that are increasingly controlled by large firms. It's planning a public release later this year. However, a free-for-all internet could make it difficult to hold app makers accountable. It could also require a decentralized form of governance, which could lead to infighting. It is not clear that mob rule would be better than recalcitrant CEOs. And it's not the first time we're trying to remake the internet. Can it succeed where others have failed? The final topic is immersion. Unlike security and decentralization, our experts tend to agree on the feasibility of sensory immersion in the internet. The charts show a distribution centered around 70% probability and a most likely year of 2031 to 2032 when immersion arrives. They also suggest a variety of technologies will make that possible. Blockchain, VR, and AR, gaming, AI, IoT, and the useful brain-computer interface. Gilder would be proud of these results. Thank you for listening today. For more information on this report or other custom research, please contact us at info at cognisgroup.com or more directly in the U.S. at 1-303-709-3157 and outside the states at 44-1904-435-190. Thank you again.